So we've been talking about a lot of different stuff this show. The common thread, unfortunately, has been COVID. And as part of that, the National Hockey League is trying to figure out a way to both safely return for the 2021 season and also do so in a way that makes everyone happy financially. As we saw from Major League Baseball this past summer, that's not easy. And the NHL is running into similar roadblocks. The latest on the situation comes today, a report from ESPN.com. Basically, the two sides are fighting. Don't need me to tell you that. Um, But what is happening, in essence, is that the owners have asked for additional sources of cash flow at the expense of the players. One of those is something called uh, escrow, which is basically uh, a mechanism by which players have to put money into a like mutual escrow account is what it's called and then a certain degree of that money comes back to them assuming the nhl revenues are good forgive me that was not the best definition of it but i'm <laughs> i'm also not a gabelli boy so uh, right. you, are, you are no economer <laughs> that's <laughs> so that's the uh strategy on the NFL side, uh, the NHL side, NFL, goodness me. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> the players obviously were not happy about this. They felt betrayed. They negotiated their deals in a certain way in free agency this year. And uh, that is being betrayed right now by the owners. They don't like it. Uh, basically, there's two options here for the NHL. A bigger hit this year that allows the league to get back on its feet quicker or a more protracted hit that is less sudden for the players and less of an initial decrease dylan the lay of the land in hockey right now not very good uh they need to figure out a way to return to play and we said this with baseball it's one thing if it's just not safe to play because of the virus and its prevalence it's another thing if you can figure out a way to do it health wise and can't do it economically The NHL is staring door number two square in the face right now, and that's a scary proposition for hockey fans. Yeah, the National Hockey League proved, um, I would say, with flying colors for most of um, their, uh, the second half of their season, if you will, that they knew how to handle this. Um, You know, moving moving every team that was going to play up to Canada, um, having two rather... two strict bubbles. Um, and the last, I think it was the last seven, eight weeks of that season, not a single positive test. That's cra- That's crazy. Um, and it proved not only to the NHL, specifically them, but really to all the sports, like there is a way to do this. And it was, it's an indoor sport. But that being said, um, you know, we talk about the, the NFL gets a lot of, uh, Flack whenever there is um, labor discord um, of uh, of owners being greedy and and trying to scam the players, but every five or six years the NHL has a labor dispute, and at least from our perspective, you know, obviously neither you nor I are an insider into what's going on in those negotiations right now, but it usually seems, especially in in the NHL like the owners are trying to scam the players association. And that's what we're seeing again right now. So I hope, I hope the players continue to um, stand their ground and say, Hey, look, it's not that we don't want to play hockey, but you're making this incredibly difficult, much more difficult than this has to be. Um, And I'm sure everyone is worrying about not just this season, but the next season. Because next season would hopefully potentially be when things get back to uh, normal in terms of scheduling and in terms of just about everything. So it, it is certainly something to worry about. But um, if, if the reports that we've heard are to be believed, I'm with the players here. I tend to be too. And when the NBA was figuring out how to come back for this season. And by the way, they are going to have their own issues uh, with the plan that they have because they're doing cross country travel and all that stuff. That's probably not going to work, but they were trying to figure out a way to come back. And the players didn't want to come back until January. The owner said, we want you back in December. 
and Michelle Roberts, who is the head of the Basketball Players Association, who is about as cool of a head as there is out there in terms of labor negotiations and sports, went to the players and said, look, here's the deal. You can wait till January. You're going to lose money. And that kind of spurred the players to say, okay, we'll deal with coming back in December. Um, the head of the NHL Players Association is Don Fear. Don Fear is the only person in the history of major professional sports to preside over work stoppages in two different sports. Not that it's necessarily his fault. Yeah. But Don Fear is no Michelle Roberts. And, you know, it, yes, it's a different situation. The owners seem to have more of an interest in, in actually meeting the players in the middle in basketball where they do not seem to have that interest in the NHL. And you can see that by the contract values. But who's going to be that cooler head here? I don't know. You know, when, when Major League Baseball went through its shenanigans last summer, and it was horrible, at gut level, all of us knew that eventually they would work it out. Didn't know what the health and safety was going to look like, but economically, they will work something out. That's not a guarantee here. I, I feel a different vibe with this. And you know, maybe it's because the NHL is, is still the last league to you know, cancel a season because of a lockout. But this does not feel like that to me. And I'll be interested to see how this ends up. Certainly. Um, I think, um, you know, I, I'm sure there is uh, – there's there's fault to be had on on either side of this issue you know the, the truth lies between their two beliefs somewhere um but i think now that nhl players know that there is a um a viable and safe way to go about at least some of the season uh, you know we didn't see this happen for an 82 game season and then four rounds of playoffs we didn't see that we saw some of it, but we did not see all of that. Nevertheless, they saw that in, in most ways it can be done fairly safely. Uh, so that being said, I think that allows NHL players as, as a players association to kind of sit back a little more and go, um, you're still kind of putting us at risk. Um, we are not going to... Um, risk ourselves to come back sooner so that you as the owners can make an extra buck. Uh, so it's, it, it's, it's incredibly difficult, but I, and I worry because the NHL is not the most consistent in finding labor peace. Um, they weren't when they locked out in 05, 06, and they were not in when I believe was 2011, 2012, or was it 2012, 13? Can't remember. Uh, when they almost lost their season. Didn't, but almost did. Uh, so I worry. But I do think things are going to be fine. I hope so. And there's also another matter we need to talk about here. Mm -hmm. So the NBA has the Raptors in Toronto. They're playing to at least start their season in Tampa. Yeah. The NBA has one team in Canada. The NHL has seven. Uh, I, I don't know how that works, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, it's easy to re relocate one team, or at least it's easy enough, um, mm -hmm. to, to do it to all of them. Uh, that's a much tougher proposition. And I don't know exactly how all that'll work out. I, I've heard discussions that they'll have some kind of bubble where those seven teams just play each other over and over again. I mean, how realistic is that? I don't know. It also just, uh, I'll say, it sounds dumb. That sounds really dumb. It yeah, does. I, and Canada, I mean, let's also be honest, Canada has not been receptive to, excuse me, allowing Americans over the border and for good reason. So I, I, don't, I don't see that attitude just changing overnight. Um, but they, they got to figure it out. I, quite frankly, they finished the season in a really positive way. They were able to crown a champion. Uh, when not all of us were sold that that was going to work, them and the NBA came back basically the same time and they got it done. 
And you, know, you can say whatever you want about Gary Bettman or the leadership in that sport, but you have to give them a ton of credit with the way they ended last season with virtually no positive tests after a certain point. And, you know, you would put the kibosh on that momentum so quickly by having a work stoppage here. It's the dumbest possible route. And I just hope to God that they don't take it. I don't, I hope they don't take it either, but um, I'm certainly worried that they will. Uh, because this is, a, like we've said, this is a league that has not shown consistency in being able to get it done. For whatever reason, they were able to get it done before uh, th- this, the madness of a COVID summer of sports, if you will. Um, but that's not enough to sell for me that this is going to happen. 